All right. Uh, so now we arrive at our last problem here, and uh, we're looking for something in the quadratic nature. So in order to solve this, uh, we're going to create a matrix A like we did before. Uh, each of the X value inputs will get um, their corresponding little input goes in for X, and that will become our column, our column for each of the individual points. And then the Y values will become our our vector, the one that we're trying to find the equal to. Uh, so putting these into uh, maxima, uh, I have my matrix A here, and so A is going to be equal to. So the first x component was 1.2, so this is 1.2 squared. This is uh, 1.2x, and this is the constant term. Uh, so this is b0, this would be b1 and b2. So the columns of the matrix A are b2s, b1s, and then the constant terms. Uh, so this is the second value. We have 1.8 squared, 1.8 and 1. This is the third value, 3.1 squared, 3.1 and 3. And just going down and putting in each of the values for uh, the different values that were given in the data. Uh, and then to compute A transpose, I, now that I have A, I take A transpose. And then my R matrix, these are the Y values for the corresponding points. That's what you see here. Okay, and then to finally define the D value of interest, uh, we're going to take the inverse of the matrix A transpose A. And multiply that, make sure you multiply that with the A transpose times A R. And in doing that, uh, here are the matrix A. That's what this first one is. This is A transpose here. And then this is the matrix R. And then this is the output. These are the coefficients of the uh, quadratic regression that we're looking for. This is the X squared component. This is the X component. And this is the constant component. So we'll plot these points with uh, the equation in GeoGebra. So let's move over to there. All right, so uh, we inputted in all of our values here for, these are all the ordered pairs um, that were given in the data. And so if I turn on this list, you can see them showing up over here in the graph. So it looks like it's a sort of a quadratic nature, right? Like maybe that's an parabola. Okay. And then if we uh, take the coefficients that we found uh, from before, B2, B1, and B0, we plug those in, and that's the R equation. So you can see that the quadratic equation does a really nice job of putting in right in between all of the data points. Uh, and that is what we would expect. All right. I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.